Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how, like, the, um, the, well, the Ray movie, right? And, um, according to this, uh, article, has Star Wars revived the Skywalker saga with a new Ray movie? First, before I give my thoughts, let's give this article a read, shall we? And keep in mind, this article was posted on the 11th of this month, so there's that. And I name all of you, too. Star Wars always delivers major announcements as Star Wars Celebration, and exciting as Lars Mikkelsen return as Thrawn, Andor Season 2 release date, and Ahsoka's first trailer were, there was definitely one announcement that stood out over all others. We've waited for a while for any concrete news of Star Wars returning to the big screen, and we got one. Not t we got not one, not two, but three uh, movies confirmed to be in the works. And one of those movies is bringing back Daisy Ridley's Ray in the biggest surprise of the weekend. The three movies will take place during three distinct time periods. James Mangold's movie will head back to the Dawn of the Jedi. Oh, Dave Filoni's uh, will bring back will bring together bring together the various storylines from Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and other Disney Plus shows. And perhaps the most intriguing and unexpected is Shamron Obed Chinois movie, written by Peaky Binders boss Stephen Knight, which will take place around 15 years after the rise of Skywalker. It will see Rey return as she attempts to build a new Jedi Order. Um, quote unquote, uh, this from Kathleen Kennedy. We're post war, post First Order, and the Jedi are disarray. There's a lot of discussion around. Who are the Jedi? What are they doing? What's the state of the galaxy? Rey is attempting to rebuild the Jedi Order based on the books, based on what she promised Luke, and so that's where she, uh, so that's where we're going. So that's about all we know about, the, so f that's about all we know so far about the new movie, but there is already some confusion about it. The Rise of Skywalker was said to be the final chapter in the Skywalker saga, yet this new movie might suggest that the saga just was just taking a little nap. Let's be real. There was no way, like, episode 9 will be, like, confirmed and to the Skywalker saga. They would find, would have found a way to try to continue the storyline. And I did see, um, images floating around the internet where Rey was pregnant due to that one kiss that she shared with Ben Solo in The Rise of Skywalker. If she gets pregnant from that, that's the only way she, we can say that Rey was the Skywalker that rose. Because she made out with Kylo Ren and hence she got pregnant. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I also wouldn't be pe putting it past Disney. That's real. Um, at the core of the Skywalker saga, of course, the Skywalker family, and mainly Luke, Leia, and their dear old dad, Anakin, a.k.a. Darth Vader. They're all te now technically out of the picture, although Luke did appear as a Force Ghost to Rey in the Rise of Skywalker. So did Leia, but I highly doubt that they will really do Leia with Carrie Fisher suddenly not being here. But they could also do Leia as well. But I hope not. I hope not. And sure, Rey is technically a Palpatine. But in the divisive and supposedly final outing of the Skywalker saga, she adopted the na Skywalker name, so Rey returning means the new movie will be about a Skywalker. Like all the other movies of the Skywalker saga. Unless she had a change of heart. Which I hope she does. And I hope in this movie... Luke does give her a lesson, or Force Ghost Luke would tell her that if she's going to like 
bring back the Jedi, she has to be honest with herself. She, like, she, she, Palpatine was a douchebag. I think everyone in the galaxy knows about that. But she, like, instead of being, like, embarrassed or ashamed that she's a Palpatine, maybe she should, like, take that, her, that Palpatine name with pride and show the galaxy that, yes, she, Palpatine, was a dick. He was a dick. He was responsible so much hurt, so much pain, so much death. And destruction. For like... Nearly three decades. Well, if, also if you... I guess you can include the, uh, um... The sequels, then like, Primus for like 50-ish years. 50, 60 years in the Star Wars timeline. He was responsible for so much pain, death, destruction. Um... Because... Pop team was like I guess in the shadows pulling the, the strings for the first art and stuff. But my point is Luke should tell right that even though she Palpatine did so many horrible things that she could show the galaxy that hey, not all Palpatines are bad. There are some Palpatines that are good, some Palpatines are bad. And maybe Luke could tell like Ray if she hadn't known, um, at this point. That Darth Vader was Anakin Skywalker. And how, like, the galaxy, like, b believes, or, I believe, like, most of the galaxy, I'd correct me if I'm wrong, how, like, most of the galaxy, with a sequel trilogy time point, believes that, um, Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader are two separate people. Or maybe he doesn't have to even say that part. Maybe he could tell Ray that, yeah, my father, Anakin Skywalker, went to the dark side. And in, like, in, in uh, and I was there as I witnessed a Jedi from the Clone Wars to come back to the light and essentially save my ass from dying. So, um... Maybe you see Vader can say that, yeah, people do some, like, there might be some dark history, uh, in your family, but you could be like me, could be kind of like how Leia was, and bring some light Re in your family heritage, you know, like, redeem that family bloodline of yours. Besides stealing my last name, honey. You know? So that could be, like, potentially Luke's final lesson to Rey. Getting her to accept that she's a Palpatine and not all Palpatines are bad. Show the galaxy that there are good Palpatines. Guess if she can't do that, then she won't ever really fulfill her potential as a Jedi. That could be the lesson Luke does. And I feel like that is like a Luke Skywalker thing to do. And I feel like that could be a potential way to convince Mark Hamill to come back as Luke. Even though Rise of Skywalker dog shit all over his character. So that's just the. That's my opinion. Anyways, right now it, it can't be helped, like. It can, I can't help feeling. Like, Star Wars has taken a step back from moving forward. Um, uh, as shown by McGonagall's movie, the franchise can literally go anywhere in the timeline. From a new movie, or uh, as the Disney Plus shows have proved, explore the same era as the Skywalker saga without any direct connection to those characters. Uh, by setting the new movie relatively soon after the Skywalker saga had wrapped up, it's inevitable that there are, there were, there will be canon complications. Fans who ask for the uh, likes of Finn and Poe, if John Boyega and Oscar Isaac don't return, well, they'll expect first goes from Luke's and potentially even Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo. Um, and that's another thing. Like, if she does uh, have a movie. I'll admit that 
fans who would want to see Finn and Poe, even if it was for like five seconds of the movie, they would want to see Finn and Poe. At least get a mention of what they're doing at the moment. Maybe in those 15 years, Ray already like trained, um, had helped Finn hone in his Jedi powers, but maybe Finn isn't like, like with Leia, isn't interested in following the ways of the Jedi. Maybe, just maybe, he rather like be a soldier. Maybe use the force powers that he got, like he was trained from Fit Ray to use, to help the galaxy, but he rather re rely on his like non-force abilities more so. And that's a that could be like the best explanation I could give for him not really being in the movie. Like maybe he's doing his own thing, or maybe he's trying to look for his family. I don't know. And um, since Poe is general, maybe he's helping the resistance. Maybe we get like a two minute cameo of him talking to Ray. And maybe it's the same with uh, Finn, but who knows? Who knows? I, 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 I don't know. Anyways, I feel it feels like a continuation of the Skywalker saga rather than its own thing. Heading one, two years or more into the future would allow exploration of the impact of the sequel trilogy without being directly connected. Even if it would mean the sequel trilogy stars wouldn't return. Nostalgia is a powerful thing in cinema, cinema right now. So it does make sense that Lucasfilm don't want to leave the Skywalker saga behind. But whether they needed to revive it so soon after it supposedly ended remains to be seen. So. Like, yeah, you guys can say, like, there, there's an argument where you can say that reviving the Jedi Order wasn't that uh, Luke Skywalker's job, and you'd be right. But, um... And, um, thankfully, like, we still got Legends to, like, see how Luke Skywalker revived the Jedi Order. So, like, we can get that comparison between how Luke did it in Legends and how Ray would do it in Canon. Um even though it would be would it be nice to see Luke actually rebuild the Jedi Order um in Canon, sure. Be the one besides Ray. And just have him pass the torch to Ray. But um As much as I like dislike the sequel trilogy as a whole I am happy that there are Doing something in the sequel trilogy timeline. Because I've been saying, I feel like it's been mostly in streams here and there. And maybe here and there in videos too, where besides like focusing so much on like adding more content in like a prequel trilogy, original trilogy, and between the prequels that's original trilogy, or in between the original trilogy and sequels, they should sh do something where it will, like, sh like, show us what happened to the characters after the sequel trilogy. Giving people like me, who has been critical of the sequel trilogy, or at least trying to give people like me who has been critical of the sequel trilogy, a reason to enjoy this, that era enjoy their characters or if or those who already enjoy the characters and enjoy the sequel trilogy era give them a reason to enjoy that era even more so i am so for that reason i am happy that they're planning to make a ray movie for that reason will i see it in theaters probably because like i said I've been wanting Lucasfilm, Disney, to do movies more so in the sequel trilogy. I mean, isn't that why they made, they bought Star Wars in the first place? So, I'll give it a chance, 
but am I expecting it to be like a successful movie? Like a really good movie that will... Oh, wow! Me. I don't know why I said wow, well, you know what I mean. That will excite me, catch me off guard to wow me. No. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But I do hope that the Ray movie will take a lesson from the sequel trilogy. Like, see where fans who are critical like me criticize the sequel trilogy and got, get their shit together. And essentially have this movie be better than the Secret Trilogy. But, um, that's just me. I'm not going to either, like, hate on it right n as of right now. I'm going to be s skeptical and ca I'm going to be, like, costly optimistic. I'm going to choose to be costly optimistic. Kind of like with the Seth Rogen's Ninja Turtle movie. I'm going to be cautiously optimistic. More so cautious than optimistic. Because, uh... The Force Awakens I really enjoyed. I do acknowledge this pretty much a carbon copy of the uh, New Hope. But The Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, were disappointments in, to me. Which is why I'm being cautiously optimistic. Choosing to, like... Even though I did enjoy The Force Awakens, and it, it, even though I did enjoy, like, Rogue One, and Andor, which proves that Disney can make decent Star Wars stuff, but like I said, I, um, Secret Trilogy as a whole was a hot mess. Solo, even though it was a fun movie, was a hot mess of a Star Wars movie. Didn't need not need to be made. But that's just me. That's just me. But like I said, I will give this movie a shot. Whether I'm excited or not, right now I'm like, eh, at the moment. But like I said, I will give it a watch. Because like I said, I think it will be like hypocritical of me to a certain degree. If I said, hey, I want them to make new movies in the Secret Trilogy era or at post-Secret Trilogy era. And they do. And they're not, and I then not support it. Like... In terms of, like, giving it a fair shake. I feel like that would be wrong of me if I don't do that. Give the movie at least one watch through. So that's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Catch you, catch you mutants later.